welcome back to Jen Beauty. My name is Jennifer and here on my channel I like to talk about all things beauty and makeup and today I have my Odin's Eye order. I ordered the Soulmane 2 palette, a couple of cheap products, two eyeliners, and also finally got the Angelica Nyquist um, Hella palette. So I wanted to unbox this with you all and then maybe hopefully put it on my face. I think I'm just going to start with the palette first. That packaging is gorgeous. Ooh, so this feels like textured. It doesn't feel like just regular smooth cardboard. I don't know how to describe it. It's gorgeous though. All right, let's open her up. She's so pretty. Look at this. Holy crap. I'm being more selective about what palettes I purchase for myself and this thousand percent I feel like is going to be something I love and will be worth it. Then let's do Angelica's palette. Oh. There it is. It has kind of like a strip to get the plastic started. Kind of like a pack of gum. <laughs> Which I like because sometimes the cellophane wrapping can be very difficult to get unpacked. And I, I don't have anything on my face yet. Um, I am gonna pause for a second after I unbox and do my skincare, uh, cause I have not put even my sunscreen on my face yet. This is Angelica's palette. I really love this outer packaging. I like that um, kind of pastel-y coloring. I normally chunk these, but I think I may actually keep them for Angelica's palette. Wow, this is even more beautiful in person. I don't, I don't feel like pictures or videos do this thing justice. Like, I just, I want to try out this shimmer. It's called Complete. It was like the black shimmer. Yeah, I've been wanting just a really good black shimmer. Sorry, I still have a slight bruise on my hand. It'll go away eventually, maybe. I don't know, sometimes I randomly get another bruise here after my infusions. They included, with like the first so many orders or until a certain date, if you ordered one of the Soulmane 2 um, highlight or blush products, I believe, they included one of their brushes, which I'm really excited to get to try an Odin's Eye brush. This is really soft, like super soft. So loving that. And then I got myself the pink gel liner in 001. I don't really have, well, actually, let's see. Let me go ahead and open it and swatch it. The gel liners did not get super rave reviews, but I kind of wanted like one or two colors that were a little unique to my collection just to try out. So that way I wasn't buying a liner just to buy a liner. Oops, check off the end cap that has a little sharpener on it, which I love. Let's swatch this. It's pretty. So this is the liner in 001 and then I'm gonna swatch Man, my ColourPop one just broke. Hold on, maybe I can shove it back in there. If you have the BFF cream gel liner in the shade Loverboy, um, that's the difference. Loverboy is a bit deeper, and then the Soulmane one is a little bit more of like a peachy bright. I'm struggling with the plastic sticking to my fingers right now. The other one I got is 002. And this is the orange one. Let's watch it next to the other one. They're, they are very creamy. I see why they would break a little bit. Um, so that's the orange one. And then I have nothing even remotely close to an orange in my collection already. So 
Um, those are the only two eyeliners that I purchased. And now let's open what I have been lusting after and waiting for. I got two highlighters. I got one in Rose Sky and then I got one in Warm Sunshine and then I got one blush. These are the Sunlight Love Blusher um, and I got Sunset Clouds. I'll be perfectly honest, uh, if left to my own devices, I would have ordered all of them. All, every, every single one. But I'm trying not to be a completionist and order all of the things. So I settled on one blush to add to my collection and two highlighters because I honestly couldn't decide. <laughs> and I was trying to hurry up and order before it sold out. They are going to restock. I don't know if they've restocked it yet, but I do believe they are going to do a restock of the Soulmate 2 collection. Um, once Angelica's palette is gone, the Hella palette, once it's gone, um, they're not restocking it. This is actually the second restock. And um, I kind of went back and forth on whether or not I needed it. And um, I didn't really want to place an order to be shipped from Sweden just for the palette. Um, but the rest of the items felt like I, I couldn't really make up my mind what would fit in my collection. I am struggling hardcore to open these beautiful blush boxes. <laughs> I think I'm just going to have to tear them. <laughs> uh, so one thing's for sure, these are secure. Um... So I just, I couldn't decide and then they sneak peeked this and I decided if Angelica's palette was still available, um, then I would go ahead and get it when this released. So Odin's Eye like totally outdid themselves on this gorgeous packaging. Hee <laughs> hee, there's us. Ugh. So this is the blush that I got. And like I said, it's Sunset Clouds. And let's swatch a Rui. This is like super like buttery soft on that swatch. Like I didn't have to do hardly anything to work that in. I've never had a swatch like that before on a blush. I'm shocked, impressed, a little disappointed in myself for not getting more blushes, but we're going to hold strong. Then uh, I'll be back when I get the highlighters open. Ow. Y'all, I broke a nail even more than it's already broken. The blushes come in these super cute little boxes, which they're going to be toast by the time I'm done with them. Did I say blush, the highlighter? Yeah. Anyway, um, the blush came in the orange box and the highlighters come in the purple boxes. Ooh, that one wasn't as hard for me to open. I don't think it's the box. I think it's me. I have kind of weak fingers with my arthritis. So this one, oh my God, is so pretty. Um, this one is Rose Sky. You guys will have to excuse my excitement. Oh, okay. Like, I can't even explain the shift on this thing. I do think there is a small overspray on these, but it's still very pigmented when you get into them. Uh, let's do my wrist. So this one is Rose Sky. Come on, Jennifer. Nah. There. And then this next one is Warm Sunshine. I kind of like wanted one more cool tone and one more warm tone, which I think I picked out. Um, I wish I had gotten myself a warm tone blush to go with it. Because this blush is a little bit cool. Oh, that's kind of neutral. 
I have plenty of blushes though. So this one is Warm Sunshine. Oh, I didn't even show it to you before I started swatching it because I was so excited. And it's got like a yellow shift to it. I like that it's not like super icy, but it still has that pretty like subtle reflect in it. I'm gonna take a break real quick, do my skincare, and then I'll be back to start playing with the palette. All right, I'm back. I put on my sunscreen and sprayed my face down with some Tarte Ready Set Radiant to just kind of like bring some life back to my skin because it was feeling dry. And then I put on, where'd it go? Oh. I put on the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Putty Primer. Um, I'm wearing my Fry Yay shirt. I got it on Etsy. I think last year I got it on Etsy. I love it. I like to wear it every Friday that I remember. So, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Okay, this is either going to be awesome or terrible, but either way, we're in for it, right? Y'all, I paused you to go do my stuff, my skincare prep, and then I completely forgot about eye primer. But I remembered before I got shadow on my eyes, so uh, kudos to me on that, right? That should be worth something. I'm using the Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow primer. Um, I got this in a, I think, BoxyCharm last year, I think. Uh, I've only had it open for like, I don't know, we're going on in a year now, uh, but it still seems to be working okay. I'm working my way down on it. I think I'm feeling solar. And um, my habit is always to tap the brush no matter what. You know, everyone's method is different. Some people don't like to tap the brush because they want all the pigment and they'll worry about the fallout later, if there is any. Um, mine, no matter what, my habit is just to tap the brush and kind of build slowly. I think because I started out like really not knowing what I was doing with makeup, I was always afraid to have too much on my brush instead of not enough, because if you don't have enough, you can just always add more later. Um, so I do like a slow buildup and I'm using my favorite, the Essential blah, essential crease brush from Real Techniques. I've been finding these brush sets at TJ Maxx lately for a pretty decent price. I found some nice Moda brushes at TJ Maxx too. So I'm not usually very good at playing around with like orange or yellow but I'm trying to kind of like broaden my horizons a little bit and play around with it. I'm just taking my brush on my Sigma Switch. I used to have one of those like in a tin, I think it was made by Ulta Beauty where like you could change your shadows. And I found that it was kind of like making my brushes more like scratchy feeling. So I invested in the switch. I waited for Sigma to have a sale, um, which they have a lot of sale. And then I think I'm going to go in with Black Hole. It says Black Hole, but I'll be honest, it looks a little more brown in the pan. So I'm curious to see like what it does. It's very pigmented. I think tapping off the brush is the right decision, but I had to do hardly any work there. Like none at all. Mm. 
this is the eye that gives me trouble getting in all the creases and crevices. I do pull down just a tiny bit. Once I, once I get the shape that I want, I pull down just a tiny bit to kind of tap in the product into that crevice. And then I like to kind of like open my eye and kind of check and see how we're doing. So I think now I want to go in with the shade Galaxy, this like maroon looking one. It's almost like a purple and I'm just gonna, um, really I should have laid this shade down first, then the black hole, but it's okay. I'm just gonna use it to put a little bit of that color in and create more of a gradient. I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Base Booster Glitter and Shadow Glue. Um, I honestly don't know if these shimmers need a shadow glue, but I don't think it would hurt. Although I probably should have picked what shimmer I wanted to use before I laid this down, but that's all right. Okay, I think I'm going to use the purple that's right next to Galaxy. This one is called Hallucinations. And then I'm going to go back into Galaxy and kind of go over the edges of it to kind of deepen up the color a little bit. And then I'm going to go into Meteor. So this one is Hallucinations and this one is Meteor. And you can see these are like buttery, creamy, smooth. You really don't have to dig in them like at all to get great color payoff. And then I'm just going to go on the very inner corner with it and kind of like smooth it up. I'm just taking a tiny bit of solar and going back over this to kind of blend it all in together. All right, now I have to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so this is how we're looking so far. I'll be honest, I kind of regret going in with the orange to start with. Um, I didn't think through the shimmers. They look a little bit deeper in the pan than what they actually are, um, which I don't mind. I just did not do a very good job making a cohesive look out of it. See what happens when I put some of this like gold in the middle. Are we gonna ruin it? Like I don't want it super opaque. I just want a little bit to kind of bring the orange together. Let's go in with the It Cosmetics CC Nude Glow. And then let's use the Uma. Is it Uma or Oma? Somebody help me. This is the Stay Woke Concealer in the shade White Pearl T.75. I can't stand the videos that are like, do this, not that. Um, because I feel like everyone has different like skin needs. Now, it's one thing if you're saying like, hey, as a tip, if you want your eyes to appear more open and this is your eye shape, this is what is the best um, method for application of eye makeup. Those are fine with me, but I really hate the ones that are very like blanket statement. Don't ever do this. Ladies, let me tell you what you're doing wrong. First of all, not only ladies like to wear makeup. So let's get that out of the way. And I don't care, like do what makes you happy. And then second of all, like I said, not, not everyone has the same needs or feels confident. And a lot of those videos made me feel like personally attacked. <laughs> 
like what I was doing was completely incorrect. I just want to play with makeup and enjoy myself. Some looks are like I'm in love with and I feel like it's the best dang thing I've ever done. And some looks I regret. But I still had fun figuring out what I do and don't like. And I don't think that should be taken away from anyone. Everyone should get to have that feeling. That's why I love that my eight-year-old loves playing with makeup so much. And she's so proud of some of the looks that she creates. And I love that for her. I want her to always have that confidence. Um, because I really feel like if you play around with makeup and you really like what you did, you should get to show it off without any judgment. I'm going to go back in to Meteor and put that in my like innermost inner corner. And um, on the bottom, first I did Warm Light, this lighter yellow. And then I went back in to Galaxy, this like burgundy color. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup except for blush and highlighter. And then I'll be back and we'll talk about final thoughts. Okay, I'm back. I used the Park Avenue Princess bronzer. This is the Amazonian, oh my gosh. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer in shade Park Ave Princess. Um, this is like a deluxe sample size, I think. Um, I got it as a free gift with purchase and I've really been enjoying it. Um, will I need to purchase the full size? I'm not sure, but I have been enjoying it quite a bit. And then I used the Bodyography Black Walnut Eye Pencil. Um, I actually avoided using this for a while, but I've really been enjoying it. I got it in a box subscription at some point, so how much they are, where they're sold, I, I have no idea. Anywho, and then I used the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. This is in black. Um, it's not my favorite. I don't, I don't know how much use I'm actually going to get out of this. Um, it was a free gift with purchase and I opened it for my oldest daughter. I used also the NYX Thicket Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara in the shade Cool Ash Brown. Um, I find that a lot of like medium brown eyebrow products end up being too warm for me. I like a cooler tone. Um, when I get my hair done, we go a lot cooler and not as warm. So even though my brow hairs may be a tiny bit on the cooler or on the warm side, I like to kind of cool them down a little bit so that it is more cohesive with my, my hair, which I had a hair appointment today, but unfortunately my hairdresser got sick and had to reschedule. So sending her out all the well wishes because she loves her job and I know that she would rather not have to call out sick. So I'm going to go in with Sunset Clouds and I'm going to use the brush that they sent. Oh my gosh, so much got on my brush. Okay. I tapped a little bit onto my Sigma switch. You can always add more. It's really hard to take some off, although you can fix that too. I'm just going over where I'm already red. I mean, there's no sense in hiding it. I like to kind of tap it in first so it doesn't just sit on my face because I do have larger pores. And then kind of go in and swipe over it a little bit to blend it out. Get in the nose. Um, it is a little bit more like sunburn looking than I like. So I'm just going to tone it down just a little bit with what's left on this beauty blender. Well, makeup eraser sponge. Let's get the terminology correct. 
I mean, it does look like I've just been out in the sun having a good day. And then I think I want to go in with Rose Sky. Because why not? That's so pretty. It's a different kind of brush than what I'm used to. It's it's a lot more stiff feeling. But it's very pretty. I'm going to turn down my light a little bit so you can see what it looks more in natural light. So this is more of what it looks in natural light. My skin has all the texture and fine lines and a sunspot. It's normal for skin to have texture and pores and blemishes and, and other things wrong. So don't ever be ashamed of it. Turn the studio light back up. I have a new one that I'm playing around with the settings on. Um, my husband got it for me for my birthday. So... Things may look different in each video until I figure out exactly how I want to do it. Now I have to figure out what I want in my lips. So this is a Luxe Liquid Lip from ColourPop that is in my Shop My Stash. And this is in the shade Prince Edward. So I think we're going to try that one. You know what? If it sucks, we just take it off and try again. It's not a big deal. Um, before filming, I put on the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade Rose. So I'm just rubbing that into my lip so that it's not completely dry going on. Super wish I'd used a lip liner. My bad. Since I used an orange, I kind of wanted to, like I used an orange up here and it felt un, like not really cohesive. I wanted to kind of bring it in a little bit to the lip, but this might be a little bit brighter than what I want. So I'm gonna find a lip gloss real quick to fix that. Okay, not perfect, but better. I just used the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Angel Food Cake. I love the Butter Gloss. I don't know why I held out for so long on trying that stuff. I'll be right back and have my final thoughts. All right, back with my fluffy hair, a little bit straighter. It was bothering me. Uh, I didn't really do anything with it today since I was supposed to go get my hair done like cut color all that jazz but i decided I, I needed to do something so final thoughts on the collection the palette is gorgeous the color story is gorgeous the shadows performed like a dream this is my first time using anything from odin's eye and i am a fan uh i don't think they're overhyped personally now this is the first time i've used the palette so I'm going to keep playing around with it and play around with the Hella palette and I will have this in my like monthly roundup ranking all the palettes that I used in June with kind of some final thoughts. Um, my only regret is that I didn't think through the colors I was going to use a little bit more thoughtfully. I should have swatched the shimmers before. I started playing around with the mattes. Excuse you. Siri had something to say. I'm not really sure what she said, but shush. Um, so I should have swatched the shimmers first before going into the mattes, and I'll swatch a couple for you. Um, the first one is Mercury. Beautiful. The next one is Deep Space. Like, holy crap, I could make a look just out of those. 
Um, the next one is Meteor, and this is what one of the shades that I put on in here. And then Starry Sky, they're all pretty like subtle or lighter. And then Hallucinations, that one is very opaque. Is that my Chloe? Hi, baby. Are you coming to say hi and watch the birdies? You're so sweet. And then um, my initial plan was to use sunlight, but I'm an idiot. Like it's more bronzy looking. And then my second choice was to use eternal. But with the colors I chose, I felt like it would make me look really sick. <laughs> Um, so that was just, that was my bad. I didn't think through the shimmers. Um, they're nice and opaque. None of them are really like deep in color. Um, I do sometimes prefer like a deeper color to put here and then a lighter color here. But I mean, it's still a complete palette as is. I just need to do a better job planning out what I'm actually going to use. So it was not the palette's fault. It was totally me. I have a beautiful sparkly rainbow on my hand now. I don't hate it. Um, the packaging is like 10 out of 10. The highlighter, gorgeous, buttery, soft. I love the, oh, this is the blush. Um, highlight, buttery, soft. Um, I love the reflect on it. It doesn't look too purple on me like when the light catches it you can tell that there's like a different shimmer shade going on there's a different reflect um which i like i think it adds some interest i love different highlighters and then uh the blush sunset clouds um it's very pretty i don't know what else to say about it like the formula is so buttery soft i've never had a blush formula that's quite like this before. Um, if you are putting things on your wish list for the future, I highly, highly, highly recommend one of the cheek products. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Okay, so like, hear me out. I have gone to work, enjoyed my day. The silence this evening has been amazing because my kids are with their grandparents for two weeks. And I have removed my eye makeup only and primed my eyes because I wanna try this again, but like in a different way. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop E23 and I'm going to use, don't stick your finger in it, Jennifer. Um, I'm going to use the shade Dream. Did I perfectly take all of my eye makeup off? I did not. There's still glitter for sure and probably some other stuff. So we will see how this performs because it is not the most ideal of circumstances. I just want to prove to myself that I can put together a cohesive look with this palette. I could be wildly incorrect. Maybe this is too far outside my comfort zone. Although my poor eyes, they are a little bit raw from taking just my eye makeup off with a makeup eraser, but it's fine. So I just threw that color in the crease and now I'm going to go in again with Galaxy and put that in the outer corner. I really like this color, the Galaxy color. It is like a really gorgeous burgundy or like dark mauve. I don't know. I um I don't do a super great job at describing colors sometimes. 
I just know that I like what I like. Yeah, I'm liking this so much better. I got glitter primer and my eyelashes. I hate it when that happens. I would like to say it doesn't happen as often, but <laughs> it does. Not even gonna lie. I've tried using a makeup brush for this and I don't like it as much. All right, now I'm gonna go in with Hallucinations and then probably Meteor, knowing me. So let's do Hallucinations. Oh, it is gorgeous. And then let's go in with some Meteor. And lighten up that inner corner a little bit, give it a little bit of a gradient. I'm, if, if you haven't noticed, I'm really terrible at doing a simple eye look or a one and done, but I really want to challenge myself to try to do more of a one and done. And I just went back in with just a little bit of the galaxy shade on the brush and sweep it kind of back and forth. Let's go back in. I'll be right back after I do the second eye. Okay. Both sides are done. Oh, though. <laughs> my husband can't decide what he wants to do with the makeup that I sent to my sister-in-law. Um, also, if you hear loud booms, I'm fine. I'm not in a war zone. My neighbors just apparently think that June 10th is the day that you set off fireworks. Don't know why. Um, I guess we'll use this brush that I used earlier today. And I want to do something on my lower lash line because I'm extra and I can't not. So I'm going to do the shade Dream. Um, let's try that again. I think I knocked off too much from my brush. Where we lived in Georgia, right before we moved up here, they seriously had fireworks like every weekend. And if it wasn't fireworks, it was the idiot that lived behind us revving his engine. And I'm not just talking about like vroom, vroom, and out he went out of the driveway. It was like three straight minutes of vroom, vroom. And it was ridiculous. Like if you were trying to take a nap or get a kid to take a nap or catch up on some rest, maybe have like some quiet time. It was incessant. And then if it wasn't either one of those, the people on the other side of the highway were shooting shotguns at targets, um, which it's their property. It's their right to do it. Like whatever, as long as they're being legal about it, I don't care. Um, so I'm loving this look a lot more. Um, let's go in with Starry Night on the inner corner. I think I did that before. It's, it's, it is very glittery. It is very glittery. Uh, I have a lot of glitter fallout underneath my eyes. It's my own fault. I mean, part of it is that I just didn't clean up any of the glitter from where I was wiping my makeup off before. I'm not going to reapply like concealer and all that because you get, you get the idea. But... Let's go in. Ooh, that one looks fun. We're already having fun. I have no more work to do today. It's like nine something at night. So I can be as ridiculous as I want to. Not that my boss really cares. Like she, I don't think she really cares if I go like too crazy with my makeup, but at the same time, like, I, I do try to be reasonable. Oh, the other day I had, like, hot peach and brown 
and forgot that I had a meeting. Luckily it was with just her, but then we invited somebody else a little more <laughs> outside of our inner circle. My bad. So I used the, oh my God, I can't see now. My eyes get very dry at night. Um, I used the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade Fierce Purple. Um, I could reapply my mascara, but I'm going to wash it off in like 10 minutes. I just literally wanted to see how the colors blended and if there was a cohesive color story and 1000% there is. Um, I just, I was a little more thoughtful <laughs> in how I went through the shades this time. I can't wait to play with the blues as well. They look so beautiful. I considered putting one of these on the lower lash line, but thought better of it. All right, that's enough blabbering. I'm sure I'll edit half of it out. Um, thank you so much for sticking with me through both of these looks. And um, I hope that you enjoyed the two looks, one palette that I did not plan. <laughs> so that wraps up this video. If you have anything from Odin's Eye, I'd really like you to tell me what you have and how you feel about it. Um, if you were looking at getting anything from the Soulmate 2 collection, I'm curious what caught your eye the most. For me, it was definitely all of the cheek products, highlighters, blushes, like I said in the beginning of the video. If I was like sleep shopping, like I do sometimes, I would have bought all of them, like every last cheek product. Thankfully I didn't because we'd be very poor. <laughs> um, I stopped taking melatonin at night, so I've been a lot better. I have not done any late night haul shopping. Don't judge me, please. <laughs> Something about melatonin does not make me sleepy. And then I'm just like out of my mind trying to go to sleep. And it does something to me that like takes away some of my inhibitions. I do have other medication that I take at night. But um, something about those mixing together my brain just goes, hey, you know, it'd be really awesome if you spent $100 at Ulta. Why? I mean, I kind of like 3AM Jennifer. <laughs> she has really good taste. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I am definitely going to post it, even though I'm not totally in love with the look that I made, because I think it's important to see that Sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. If you like this video, I do hope that you'll give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more makeup and beauty content from me, hit that subscribe button and I will absolutely have more coming at you. And I hope wherever you are that you have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye. I just want it noted that I remembered to take a thumbnail picture because I forget almost every time. And you can tell on the ones that I forget because I'm like this. Yeah. Don't ever take yourself too seriously. Bye for real this time. <laughs>